guys, our first project is going to be these two items right here. This is the first concept. This is a evaporative cooling beer or soda koozie, either way you want to use it. This allows you to put a little bit of water down here in the bottom. There's a gap between two screen layers. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit for you so you can see that a little bit better. You can see there's a gap right there between the inner and the outer screen layer. That gap is going to hold a wicking evaporative cooling material, basically a pure cotton material. We'll push that all the way down into the lower catch container. So it'll act like a candle wick down here in the lower container. And it's only going to wick naturally about this far up onto the screen. It won't wick naturally all the way up to the top. Wick action only goes up a couple inches. But every time you lift this thing up and bring it to your lips, you're going to tip it upside down, allowing gravity to kind of force water out of the lower container into the wick cloth a lot more effectively. And that'll help pull that water or the moisture up through the cloth a lot higher on this design. Basically, you're using wicking action and drinking action to power an evaporative cooling beer koozie or soda koozie. Then we have a much more advanced design over here on the left. Let me go ahead and kind of get us centered in on that and I can show you what we've got going on there. Right, so let's go ahead and just move that item back into the background. We'll center in on the more advanced design. Here we go. So what we've got here is everything you saw in the original design there. We have the lower water container down at the bottom. We've got the two screen layers and opening between them here that allows for a, a wicking or an evaporative material to go there. The one difference we have is this upper container. This upper container is going to allow you to fill that full of liquid or water, whatever you're going to put into it. And right here at two points, uh, coming out just in between the two layers of the screen, out from the tank, is a little output hole there, a seeping hole or a little tiny hole that allows a small drip of water to leave this upper container and directly saturate the cloth up here at the very top of the uh, beer koozie. And there's another one right over here on the opposite side. So there's two outputs from the upper container that'll help saturate the cloth much higher up than the natural wick process will do. Um, there's also this little tube you see over here on the side. You notice where the tube comes out of the top of the upper one and then goes into the top of the lower one. Once any of the moisture and the water drains down from your upper tank between the two layers and then gets caught down here in the lower tank, all you have to do to reset that is flip the koozie over. It'll take just a brief moment for all that water to recycle back up to the top tank, flip it back over, and you're ready to go again. Now you can also see over here I've also cut out a little section of that tank. This will be the side that you'd actually drink it from. So I've left an opening there to kind of clear everything. Well, let's get printing and we'll see just how well this works. All right, guys, we're going to get this print started. We're going to go down and select the evaporative beer koozie, hit print, go over here to confirm, and there we go. All right, guys, so as it gets going, I'll take some film, show you what it looks like in the creation process, and at the end, we'll go ahead and take this thing out and see how well it does keeping my beer cold. So the very first layer of our evaporative beer koozie is being printed right now, about halfway through that first layer. Right there is the outer part of the lower water container. And you can see the cone that's printing up to hold the actual center there that holds the beer can itself. I use that cone design so it's more able to print without any failures and I don't need supports inside of a sealed container this way. Okay, you can see we've gotten a little further along here. Starting to finish up the top layer of the water container. You can see right now that little slot where the uh, Evaporative fabric is going to droop through and down into the water container down below, that little slot right there. Alright guys, so we're about two-thirds of the way through the construction here. Just wanted to give you a quick look. Maybe like this you can see the layers and the gap between those two screens. Alright guys, our first iteration of a evaporative cooling beer koozie is ready to go. This would be kind of the simplest way you could do it. When you tip it back to take a drink, gravity is going to pull some of that water through the cloth a little higher than the wick action naturally is going to bring it up the cloth while it's just sitting there. The wick action is going to bring it up probably about right here, maybe two inches or so up the uh, screen somewhere right in there. Other than that, it should work pretty good. It just won't go all the way up. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and break this first iteration free from the build plate. I've already got the second one loaded on the flash drive ready to go and that's got the upper water tank and it'll allow gravity to pull water down into the lower tank through the evaporative material that goes between those two screen layers that you can see nice and clear right here. 
and maybe through there you might be able to look down and see that little opening there you can it goes all the way around for you to put that wick material down into the lower container that way you can get down into the liquids down in there all right guys let me break this free from the build plate i'll turn on the printer and we'll start the second iteration our second rendition is done printing you can see it here go ahead and just take a quick look at that you look down inside of it Looks like our transfer tube uh, kind of messed up on the print a little bit there. So we'll have to increase the size or diameter of that tubing if we print another one of these as a product state. So let's go ahead and we'll pop that off the build plate. We'll fill both the first rendition and the second rendition's little gap between the screens with some kind of uh, wicking material we can also use for evaporative cooling. So we brought our evaporative beer koozies out into the sun. It is not a hot day. It is about 56 degrees even though it's sunny, so we're not going to get a good evaporative cooling effect going on today. But what we are going to do today is test out a bunch of different materials, basically things that you can find around the house that might work for an evaporative cooling sheet and a wicking material all at the same time. First material I've got ready to go here is just plain old brown paper bag from your grocery store. I've cut some sheets of that up. You can see here it took two little pieces on that one and then one piece all the way around on this one. I turn that up you can see the brown paper bag in there we're gonna go ahead and fill the chambers full of water see how well this brown paper bag works for basically allowing the wick to rise up in this one over here as well as allowing the water from the drip emitters on the top tank on that one to go down the sheet and see how well this all works so let me go ahead and finish pushing these paper bag chunks here into the lower chamber I'll grab a container of water, we'll turn it on, we'll fill it full of water and take a look to see if there's any wick action whatsoever. Go ahead and just start filling these up with water. Uh, this is not rubbing alcohol, don't worry. Although that would probably generate a uh, much cooler evaporative cooling effect. Okay, that tank's full. Come over to this one, we'll start filling that one up. Okay, bottom one's full, let's go ahead and fill up that top one. Trying to stay out of the shot there for you, best I can. All right, top one's full. Let's see how far up the paper the water goes and how far down the paper the water goes from that top tank. I think we're gonna go ahead and just call this project for the day. It doesn't look like we're gonna have any good sunny hot days for the next week or so. So I'm not gonna be able to get a good test out of this. One thing we can see today though is what kind of wicking action or moisture spread that we got onto our evaporative sheet. I've been working pretty hard here trying to get this to come back up out of there. So I can show you guys this, but the sheets on the model where we have the tank up at the top, they are soaked all the way from the top to the bottom. So definitely working to saturate the evaporative cooling pads when it comes to leaking water from the top container all the way down as well as the wick action coming back up. I mean the entire piece of paper is definitely soaking wet. Now over here with the other one that we had that was just the wicking action alone also would work by tipping up to drink from it. Um, I've noticed that the water did get up to about right where my finger is. There is a saturation line on the paper bag right up to about right there which is probably what you would expect for a wick action. Uh, let's say an inch and a half, two inches of wick. Not too bad. Now, as you were drinking from this and raising it up, gravity would have pulled moisture from the bottom container through that wick material, maybe a little bit further each time as you were drinking from it, maybe making that work a little bit better. So definitely we've got a good idea here with the upper tank and the lower tank saturating from the top all the way down to the bottom, and then you get the wick action still coming up from the bottom. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed.